press. Yes, it's a complete lockdown at Srinagar's press colony, as print editions of various valley-based papers have been prohibited from publication. It was an unofficial gag order that came into place soon after the execution of Afzal Guru, which means valley newspapers could not print their copies on Saturday, or what was certainly the biggest news in the recent past. The hard copy cannot reach the people. And I think that's the biggest uh, kind of I mean disservice you can do to the people although online editions of various papers are available with internet services being partially withdrawn the news remains inaccessible this is the third time in the last five years that local dailies were forced to suspend the publications due to restrictions imposed by the government last time papers were not published for days in 2008 and in 2010 the gag on the local media and the valley on hand and in the capital Kashmiri journalist Iftikhar Gilani was detained for hours along with his family soon after the execution. The son of the separatist leader Saeed Ali Shah Gilani, Iftikhar has often been prevented from carrying out his journalistic duties. We were kept in a separate house and my children were kept in a separate house. They had asked my neighbours how come you are allowing a terrorist to stay in the locality. The press council and the editors Gil have expressed their concern over the detention of Iftikhar Gilani and the curbs on newspapers in the aftermath of the Afzal Guru execution. But it is no secret, freedom of expression is a very different thing in this part of the country. But the fact of the matter is that for the journalists and editors of newspapers from here in the valley, the biggest story in decades has been a no-show. With Anubha Bhosle and Nishat Hayat in Srinagar, this is Meha Bhardwaj.